I just had a really good question about using the blending app or any of the Google Sheets products on an iPad. And there are reasons that you might want to use this on an iPad if you're walking around the classroom and you're going to show your iPad or if you're teaching virtually using your iPad. And yes, you can use my blending apps and the other Google Sheets products in the iPad, on the iPad, but you can't use the Sheets app. So here's what I do. Uh, you're looking at my iPad here. I just find it in Open Up Drive, find it, three dots, and I do copy the link. You see that there? The three dots, copy the link. Now I'm just going to paste it right into my Safari. Come up here, paste. You cannot use the Google Sheet app and a macro. The macros are not supported in the Google Sheets app on iPad. It works just fine on Safari. And in fact, I don't think it works in Chrome because Chrome then thinks you should go and use the app. In any case, paste it right here into Safari and go. Oh, this is, let me just show you this. Now the spacing is a little different because it's a three by four. Uh, you might have this extra space. Just make sure, do you see how I have right um, this uh, row eight? Do you see how it's wider than the other rows? I want to make enough space so that the, the lower part of the, the sheet, it does not show. But by making that larger, it works on the iPad. And I, the my macros work. There you have it. We've got the mus and the macros work. The fonts will be different on the iPad than it would be on um, on your laptop. So I hope that helps.